I'm independent. I don't need a man. I don't want a man. What does she really mean when she says, I'm an independent woman? Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, the link is in the description. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about when a woman says, I'm an independent woman, what exactly does she mean by that? I think all of us are starting to notice that the Miss Independent phase is starting to wear out. Women are still saying it, but a lot of women are waking up to it because a lot of women are sitting at home alone nowadays and they're reflecting on this independent lifestyle that they brag about so much. So let's actually break down what I'm an independent woman means subconsciously which means that what comes out of her mouth may not be true. It's the vibe that she's actually giving off. First, the word independent, when she throws it in your face, means I don't need you, all right? For one, a lot of guys try to ignore this, and a lot of guys try to live up to this challenge when a woman says that she's independent. You still try to show her that, hey, you may be independent, but I have more than you. That's what she don't want to happen. She wants you to accept it that she's independent, but she wants you to act like she can pay for everything and that you don't need to take care of her because it makes her feel dominant. All right. What guys need to understand about when a woman says that she doesn't need you, that is time for you to go and live your life. Too many of you guys are ignoring that sign. The independent thing is a bigger ego boost to a woman than it is a man. Men are gonna naturally be independent unless you're just flat out beta and you need your mom for everything. Most beta males gotta call on to their mom to always come and help them out. But for the most part, when a woman says that she's independent, that is good for you. That means that you're gonna be saving yourself a lot of money, all right? She doesn't need you and you make her live up to those words. Listen to what I'm telling you. You make her eat those words. Next, I'm an independent woman means I'm looking for a part-time lover. What do we mean by part-time lover? She's just looking for a guy to be there to stimulate her or her days off. Or on the day she worked where she knows she's gonna be off the next day, which is typically independence. That's when they want a guy to come over and break them off real quick. So when she says, I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm an independent woman, excuse me, she's pretty much saying, if you're going to deal with me, you're going to deal with me on my terms. You're going to deal with me when I'm available. And when you do deal with me, I want to do everything in, the, in, in one day. I want to go to the best places to go shopping. I want to go to the best places to go eat. And then I want you to do the nasty stuff to me in the bedroom. That's what she's saying when she says, I'm an independent woman. She's not coming out telling you that, but when you look at her lifestyle and what she's trying to prove and the dedication that she's gonna to give to her job, she's not gonna have time for a relationship. She's gonna have time for fleens. That's the realization of it. These type of women are not built to be in a relationship, which is why when they get desperate enough, they grab a beta male that they could just run all over because the beta male is gonna be right there to, to, to cater to her every need. But for the most part, to the average alpha male out there that's coming across these women that's trying to be combative, combative with you, trust me, I'm independent means I'm, I'm best for friends with benefits, which is the truth. The only sad part about it is, girls that say that, that are Miss Independent, they do the friends with benefits thing for a little bit of time, but if you continue to just leave them in the friends with benefits category, they try to pull you in as a relationship. And when they try to do that, that's when a lot of you guys fail. Because when you start thinking that you're getting close to a woman, the first thing that you start to do is compromise. When you start to compromise, that's pretty much when a man starts going backwards with a woman. And an independent woman is not going to be in a relationship 
unless you compromise to her. So understand, she's telling you, I'm independent. I only need you for sex and to have a good time every other week. Next, the reason why she only needs you every other week, to be honest, her standards of a man is unrealistic. That's what an independent woman is telling you. The, the, the more success she becomes, she doubles it with the type of guy she feels like she's entitled to. If a woman makes 30000 a year, she feels like she's entitled to a guy that makes 60000 a year. She makes 60000 a year, then she's entitled to a guy that makes 180000 a year. That's how it works with a woman. Miss Independent has an unrealistic expectation of the type of guy that she is going to surrender to. And it's pretty much a guy that has to buy her out. A guy who has so much money that triple the amount of money that she has is nothing to him. So if she decides to get married and get a divorce, she already know that she's going to walk away with more in the relationship that would have been equivalent to her if she would have never got married and had kids and stayed on her own. That's how a woman is look at it. That's how Miss Independence is going to look at it. If I get in this relationship, how much success would I have gotten on my own without him? So I'm going to make him cover that. You know what I'm saying? Like if she's driving around in a Lexus and she come across the guy in a Bentley, it's like, all right, all right, this is this is worth it. Because if I would have been on my own as a woman, then I would have been able to afford something like this. That's how she looks at it as. And then they go in their relationship with unrealistic expectations of what they're supposed to get out. And next thing you know, Miss Independent is 45 years old with a lot of accomplishments fully prepared to be alone no man period a lot of accomplishments no man a lot of accomplishments but they're not even pretty the pretty ones on the other hand are just wasted beauty when you come across a real pretty miss independent woman that don't have a man and she's up in age that's wasted beauty next miss independent is fully prepared to die alone that's what she's telling you. She's saying, listen, I'm so combative by being independent that no man is ever going to want to deal with me. So whenever I'm not dealing with a man, I'm going to go and work extra hours at my job so I get more money and move up in rank. So I do more things and move up. The more successful she becomes, like I said before, the higher her standards are going to go, which means that Miss Independent is prepared to get cats. She's prepared to get a little dog. But when it's all said and done, Miss Independent is prepared to die alone. How you know she's prepared to die alone? Because with unrealistic expectations, she's going to always wake up and have a new standard that she feels like she should be living by. Last but not least, when she says I'm independent, she really has low self-esteem. Her confidence is really, really low. So what she does is she takes this insecurity out with work because work is the easiest thing for a person to get addicted to and gain success because your time is money. The longer you're at work, the more money you're going to make, the more money she makes, the more successful she feels. It's the same trade as a beta male who may be suffering because he's fat or he, he doesn't have confidence, or he may be short, or he may be tall and weak. You know what I'm saying? A lot of beta males have the same traits, and they use these insecurities to become more confident. And it typically starts with their work ethic. Their work ethic increases. All right. Betas share the same heart as a woman. So a lot of you guys will actually understand women when you start to understand your downfall as a beta male. Because you and her are sharing the same spirit, which is why when you go alpha and you look back at yourself, you say, you know what? I did shit women would do. And that's what eat away at you. That's what makes red pills stick. When you realize you were doing the same thing that women were doing. But when it comes to Miss Independent, nowadays, she's fully prepared to die alone because she has unrealistic expectations. She thinks her accomplishments are attractive when they're pretty much ugly to men. Men don't ever wake up and say, I can't wait to marry me a college student who got a who got a master's degree. Men don't say that shit. Beta males say that. 
beta fat beta males who grew up being belittled by their mom say that because their mom tricked them into loving women like that. But when it's all said and done, she either holding you down or she's slowing you down. This is Anthony Spade. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.